How you doing guys? Welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In this video, what I want to talk about and get configured is DHCP snooping. DHCP snooping is an awesome configuration in order to prevent rogue DHCP servers on your network. What does this mean? This means if you have a wireless router or a router at home, for example, I have this little sonic wall, right? And it has a little switch ports on the back, right? So and I'm just saying like maybe you have a Linksys or TP-Link or whatever kind of router you have from home. This can be a malicious way or it can just be an ignorant way that you don't know. So I'm going to bring this into the office because I only have one port in my one drop in my cubicle, right? So I have an Ethernet cable that's going to my PC, but I'm smart enough to take that PC and the cable from the PC, plug it into port, for example, one, whatever, on the LAN side, but they don't really know, you know, your, your normal user won't know that. But then they're gonna plug the PC into port one, and then their other laptop into port two, and so on and so forth, their printer or whatever. Now they just created a rogue DHCP server. And when this happens, this causes chaos because for an example, if your real DHCP server is 192.168.1.100 and your this rogue one just came, gave out 192.168.100.1, you know, just reverse the third and fourth octet. And now, for example, my PC, me, I'm sitting in my office and now I'm getting DHCP um, addresses from this 192.168.100, this little sonic wall right here, when this guy's just trying to you know extend his connections in his office now he's just causing a whole bunch of chaos is there a way to prevent that yes there is and that's called dhcp snooping getting that configured on your switches to trust only the real dhcp server in order to give out dhcp server addresses or dhcp addresses right so the rogue this guy or it can be a malicious guy like this you know with this little mask on um can you know do different kind of things and that's i'll leave those things for a different different day but we want to prevent bad bad guys or just ignorant people that don't know um giving ip addresses out we just want to stick with the real dhcp server so without further ado let's get into the configuration and see this in action Hey guys, welcome back. Remember, so this is a little topology that I have here. We're gonna do DHCP snooping. This is a DHCP snooping lab. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna create VLAN 10 on this switch. We're gonna move these devices into VLAN 10 just to change it up. So we don't have to leave everything in default VLAN 1 because that's not best practice and that's insecure. If you have one of those guys with the mask on, uh, you, wanna, you wanna prevent that, right? And then we want to only trust a real DHCP server on Fast Ethernet 02. Uh, we want to block this bad boy on Fast Ethernet 03. And then we want to check, um, make sure that the rogue DHCP servers are not giving out DHCP addresses anymore, right? And at the end, we're going to say, can the bad guy with the mask still give DHCP servers anymore? Yes or no, right? So hopefully it's a no, right? That's that's the ultimate goal. So. I want to open up PC1. I want to do a little before and after type deal. Okay. All right. So let's open this up and let's just let's uh let's do this. Let's from a clean slate. Okay. Right? So I want to do an IP uh, uh, IP config release renew renew not release. All right. So this is good. And this is not good because this is 10.1.100.0 and that subnet that is this guy DHP cert. So 10.1.100.0 is the bad guy. We don't want that. Let's let's go ahead and just hit renew again. Renew again. Hopefully we can get to All right, perfect. So 10.1.1.2 is the good guy, right? This is the real DHCP server as you can see here. Let's go to let's go to services, DHCP right here 10.1.1.0. That is the good guy. Okay? Let's go back into PC1. Perfect. So now you get the idea, right? 
This guy is the guy with the mask. This is the guy with the happy face that we want to, you want it to work. All right, so with that being said, let's go ahead and start configuring this bad boy. All right, so the first things first, I, I also have the tasks on the, another screen, so I don't have to keep going there. Right, so we're gonna be configuring VLAN 10. So let's go into configure mode, configure terminal, VLAN 10, it's just that simple. Bada bing, bada boom, exit here, okay? And now we wanna stick all those ports inside of VLAN 10, because if you do show VLAN brief, we can see everything is in default VLAN 1, and that's not best practice. So I want you to get into that habit of moving everything out of default VLAN 1, that's no bueno, okay? So we're gonna do interface, range, fast ethernet, zero, zero slash one to 24. Just stick them all in there, okay? And you switch port, mode access, because you're gonna be access ports, okay? Switch port access VLAN 10, okay? Now if we go up, 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 there we go. Now we can see all of our ports are in VLAN 10. All right, so we got step one done, All right? So let's see, okay, so that, that step one is check mark. Cool, so now we can exit out of here. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna run a few different commands to see something. Okay, let's just actually exit out of here. We're gonna do show IP DHCP snooping, okay? Right now, this is disabled, ignore this for now because there's no trusted ports, there's nothing. So, but it's disabled. So in order to have this enabled, what we have to do is very, very simple. Go into configure terminal, right? And in configure terminal, you just do IP, DHCP, DHCP, snooping, uh, if I can spell, snooping, okay? And then that turns it on. So what I wanna do now is VLAN 10 because I want to have this on VLAN 10 as well, okay? Perfect, so we can do end, WR, so we can save it. Now we do show VLAN brief, okay? So now everything is still in VLAN 10. So we do show running config. We can see DHCP snooping is enabled, it's on VLAN 10. So now if we go on to all your ports are in VLAN 10, blah, blah, blah. So the next thing is we have, all right, before we do the next thing, so if you see here, we, um, so what we have to do now is allow, only trust the rogue DHCP server, the rogue, I mean, the real DHCP server, I'm sorry. I guess they both start with R and I get confused. So the real DHCP server, which is on fast ethernet zero slash two, right? So we have to trust that interface for DHCP, okay? Of course, now let's go back here and I wanna show you this, okay, oh jeez. All right, so now let's go ahead and do renew and it's gonna fail because now we have DHCP snooping enabled, right? And there's no trust. So it's saying, I'm not giving you no DHCP, sorry buddy. Come back another day when you, uh, when you, when you get me configured. So let's go back here and do configure terminal. And this is how we're gonna be configuring this trust, okay? So interface, fast ethernet, zero slash two, because that's the interface that we're gonna trust, right? So we do IP, DHCP, snooping, trust. Whoop, TR. Boom, that's, that's it. So now we can do end, and now we can do show DHCP, so show, D, uh, show IP DHCP, Snooping. Now we can see here it says yes, which is trusted on this port, which is awesome. Now what we can do is go ahead and go on to, for example, PC1. Oh my God. Okay. So now we can go on PC1, renew. Now we're getting an IP from the real DHCP server. We'll do this a few times. Okay, it looks good, we'll do it five times. Okay, we're still getting DHCP server, uh, DHCP server addresses from the proper one. Okay, so let's go ahead and do something really quick on here so we can see some action. Let's go ahead and type debug, 
IP DHCP snooping, and then I think it's packet. Yes, packet. Okay, so that enables uh, debugging, okay? So now what we can do is go ahead and hit renew on here. It's gonna go request. Now we go back to the switch. Now it's gonna show debug commands. We can stop this and just put no for now to disable that. Perfect. So what are we seeing here? Uh, we're seeing that uh, Fast Ethernet 02 received the new IP address request because that's the trusted, uh, that's the trusted uh, port. And DHCP snooping, uh, a new DHCP packet release, you know, DHCP acknowledgement, blah, 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 FFFFF is a broadcast, and so on and so forth. So this is the DHCP server that it's handing, you know, this is the IP for the DHCP server, and this is the IP address that it's giving out. This is a DHCP address, and this is a DHCP server side, and this is the gateway, and so on and so forth. Okay, so now technically if we go here, we should be able to ping 10.1.1.200. Perfect. Now let's go, so this is dot two. Let's go on PC2. Let's make sure that's working. We can, all right, we can ping um, the DHCP server. And let's see if we can ping dot two, which is PC1. Perfect. All right, so we're looking good. So now let's just do a few little show commands in here to verify a few things. So we do show IP DHCP binding, oh, not binding, snooping binding, sorry. Oh my God. Okay, so we can actually type out the whole thing so you can see. Oh, jeez. All right, let me just do this. Snooping, binding, perfect. All right, so that is the, the, the IP address that it learned on fast ethernet zero slash one. Okay, because so now if we do, uh, let's go back to the topology, zero slash one, so that's this one. Let's open up this. We can do a renew, so we can see this one in the database as well. Okay, now let's go back to the switch. Now we should see two, perfect. Dot 11 and dot two, okay? So what is another cool command? So we can just do show DHCP snooping without the binding, and we can see this, uh, the trusted ports are in, uh, are on fast ethernet zero slash two. Okay, perfect. And another cool command we can do is database, right? So what does that mean? This means the attempts that DHCP is requesting. For an example, we'll bring this over here. Uh, we'll bring this like this. We'll take PC2 to be the, the helper today. So as you see here, the attempts is nine. So if and it, the successful writes is nine. So if we do release, renew here, we should see 10 here. Let's go up. 10. See that? That's pretty neat, right? So these are how you can verify on your switch different, you know, show IP DHCP snooping um, uh, commands, you know, pretty much bindings and database and just itself. All right, so that's pretty much it. So now the bad guy is not trusted. So we can go here, we can do this a few more times just to make sure we're not getting anything from dot 100 and we are good so can the bad guy with the mask give the hp addresses anymore no he is done with so as you saw in the debug as we've seen in the databases and in the database in the binding we can only get stuff from one uh, 10.1.1.x which is what 10.1.1.200 which is a dhcp server that's the real one all right so that pretty much sums it up. That's pretty much the video in a nutshell and how to set up and create DHCP snooping on your layer two switch. And when you have a DHCP server on your network that's connected to that switch and you have crazy pants with the mask 
and bringing this little guy and not really knowing what he's doing and plugging in and giving rogue DHCP, uh, uh, creating a rogue DHCP server. All right, so hopefully it's been informative for you guys and I thank you for checking me out. Again, like I always say, please like, subscribe, comment, reach out to me on any of the social media sites and I'm here to help. If you have any questions with this lab, let me know. And um, uh, I just posted a video about how to get Packet Tracer installed on your Windows 10 or on your Windows machine. So check that video out as well. I'll put, I'll put a link in this video as well so you can uh, follow along if you don't have Packet Tracer and we can get on this journey together. All right, thanks and happy new year and have a blessed day.